Hello friends and fellow Trekkies, welcome back to my channel All Things Trek 47, bienvenidos and I'm really glad that you've tuned in today. Um, we're going to do a visual review of the different types of energy shields and how they look on the Odyssey, the remade Odyssey that came out I think a couple weeks ago or so. I did put a poll out about this on Twitter and this is the ship that won out. The other one was going to be the Connie 3, but people wanted the Odyssey a little bit more. So we're going to go ahead and fulfill that wish today. Let's get started. Dale. All right, here we are in game. Um, actually, we are on the triple server. This is where I do uh, my visual reviews because I have access to a couple things here that I don't on my main account. So um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the ship first without any of the vanity shields on it. Now, this was recently redone by Thomas Maroney, and it looks fantastic. This is the standard Odyssey. This isn't the Yorktown uh, variant. It is just a standard Odyssey, and it looks fantastic. It looks great. Actually, I think the one thing they did add was this little shuttle back here. I don't think that the original uh, Star Cruiser had that, but... Um, here it is. Actually, one of the interesting things, I don't know if you can see kind of on the bottom here where my mouse is. Um, actually, you know what? Let's um, let's make the mouse a little bit bigger so that everybody could see it. So let's go ahead and see cursor scale. Let's go to two, a little bit bigger. There we go. So <laughs> if you're getting uh, old like me, um, you need things to be just a little bit bigger on screen. But um, here we go. This is the... Um, this area right here is what I'm looking at. This is the standard material. Now I have no vanity shields on here currently a set. In fact, I have just the soul defense system covariant shield array, which doesn't really have a visual effect on it. So um, you can see that this has a little bit of that, um, what I call the, um, the bubble effect, because you remember as a kid, you used to play with bubbles that used to be able to just kind of blow through that little uh, ring thing. And um, they had this multicolored kind of rainbow color to it. So it looks like the, the black parts here of the ship carry that effect. You could also see this this kind of effect on the uh, on. Is it the Discovery Vanity Shields and stuff like that? And um, but it looks like this is inherent to this material, this Odyssey material on here now. Um, it's subtle, though. It's, it's a lot more subtle than the Discovery uh, Shields have it, but looks pretty good. Um, I didn't notice that initially, but here um, I am in um, this, the Dyson Sphere and this Dyson Sphere space. Everything's a little bit brighter, so you could actually see some of these subtle nuances of the skin. So very beautiful looking ship. The uh, the windows here are pretty new. Um, actually, they're they're new. They were created just for this model. <laughs> Not pretty new. They're new um, and they look fantastic. They look really great. I like how they're spaced out. I like that they're kind of bright and very, very noticeable, visible. And um, I think it just looks fantastic. This remake just makes this ship, brings the ship in line and actually supersedes uh, some of the newer looks. It just looks fantastic. I wanted everybody to see the ship as it is and the beauty of it before we went ahead and started putting a bunch of vanity shields on there. So um, my ship's name is uh, Majestic and it is really, really neat. All right, so let's get to the good stuff, right? So here we go. Got a bunch of vanity shields on here and we're gonna begin with the discovery ones. Um, we're gonna put Tilly's review pending shield. This is the, um, the one that most people get. This is like the meta shield. Um, it is the one that everybody wants for survival. Tilly's review pending modified shield. And it's uh, Mark 13, but that doesn't matter for us today. We put it on and as you can see, there is slightly more of this, um, this kind of rainbow bubble effect on, especially on the dark parts. But you can see it a little bit on the hole itself. It's very slight though, but I guess because some of this material already has a little bit of it, it's not quite as bright looking. But let's take it off and let's put it back on again. It does make a difference. 
it does make a difference. It is a lot clearer, the effect is. All right, you know what? I just noticed that my uh, my camera's probably blocking y'all seeing these uh, shields, so I'll move this up a little bit. Sorry about that. And uh, gotta keep that stuff in mind, huh? So that was the, um, the Tilly Review Pending Modified Shield. Let's take a look at it. Let me take all that out so you guys can get a better look. This is what it looks like. Oh, on the bottom, you can see it pretty clearly right here in the main part of the hole too. So it's a lot more pronounced. From this angle here, you can see it on the hole. So yeah, just gives you that, like I said, that kind of the rainbow bubble effect um, going on there. All right. I know some people swear by this, by this, uh, that effect. And um, let's take a look at the Discovery Legends Vanity Shield. So the first one was a Tilly's Review Pending. This is the one that you get to that has all the modifiers on it, the, the shield capacities and all that stuff. Now, the Discovery Legends Vanity Shield you get when you reach Tier 6 in the Discovery Reputation. And these are just visuals. They don't actually protect your ship or anything like that. So that's the difference between those. And let's take a look at this one. Okay. Very similar, maybe a little bit more pinkish than the previous one. Actually, the lines are a lot more pronounced, I think, in this one. You can really see that effect going all the way up here from the pylons to the cells to the hole. Oh, yeah, this is a lot more pronounced, actually. All right. So that is the Discovery Legends Vanity Shield. Let's go ahead and do the Discovery Vanity Shield. This one was from the lockbox. Discovery lockbox, I believe. And there it is. Actually, it looks pretty neat. I like the uh, the more metallic look that the ship gets with this shield. Um, I like these blue bits too. These are the RCS thrusters, I'm guessing, um, that are shaped blue here. Or shaped blue, uh, colored blue here. <laughs> Colors are shapes now, y'all. You heard it here first. Um, the deflector way, the deflector array turns blue too. And um, the only kind of weirdness here is the um, the Bassard collectors right here. They're uh, they got this kind of weird circle thing going on with them. Not the biggest fan of that. I do like the the kind of the deeper blue though on the nacelles the themselves. Um, what's going on there is pretty good. I like the way the hole looks itself. The um, the impulse engines look pretty good. A nice shade of red. Let's go underneath here and see what that looks like. Again, for me, the only weirdness is is the color of the. The Bassard Collectors, not the color of the Bassard Collectors, but just kind of those shapes there. Um, the circular shapes there. Other than that, I think it's a pretty cool looking shield. Again, this is the Discovery Vanity Shield from the Discovery Lockbox. We have the Discovery Refit Vanity Shield. This is one's from the 32nd century thing, whatever. The future lockbox. Um, at least I'm pretty sure. And this also looks more metallic, but it's also darker. It's the hole is actually a bit darker. The um, the Bassard collectors are kind of a white. Um, you know, the nacelles here themselves, I don't know that I actually like. Like the kind of the blue and white striped look to it. Seems like a bit much. That was a little bit more subtle of a transition. It might look better, but it's not horrible by any means. Um, and you can see that the impulse engines are a nice shade of red. I like it. Let's see the bottom. It's just kind of dark. The, um, the deflector ray is actually pretty dark here. Just 
subtle hint of uh, a blue on it. But uh, this observation deck, I think, or whatever this is, maybe maybe it's a uh, science um, observation dome or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is, guys. Don't uh, don't put me in comments down because I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, but that's all white there. I like it. I really like the shield. I, I think it looks pretty good. The only thing I would change in this case, <laughs> see, this is the kind of opposite of the other one. Um, the other one, I like the way the nacelles themselves look. I didn't like the way the Bassard collectors look, and this is the opposite. I like the way the Bassard collectors look, and I don't like the way that the the actual um, that this part here looks. So, all right, let's move on because we got a lot to go over today. That's the Discovery Refit Vanity Shield. And we're gonna move on to the um, Omega Reputation sets, um, shield-wise. So we're gonna begin with the Assimilated Regenerative Shield Array. Oh, check it out. So we're basically Borgified our ship. You can see that there are these areas in the hull where the Borg technology has taken over. Um, these little bits right here turn green as well. Okay, the Bizarre Collectors are green, the Nacelles are green. Um, the Impulse Engines are kind of a... What is that? Like a yellow? It's like a... Kind of a reddish yellow? I don't know. Reddish yellow would actually be orange, wouldn't it? Not quite orange. It's, it's more of a yellow looking color. Um, see the underside of the ship? Oh, I like this part right here. And the Nacelles. That bit right there looks pretty cool. Inside of the hull, the deflector ray has turned kind of greenish colored. All in all, pretty cool. Um, for role playing, if you have, say, a, a Borg, a liberated Borg captain, and that liberated Borg captain has uh, modified the ship, probably looks something like this. Pretty cool. All right, let's move on. Next, we have the Mako Resilient Shield Array. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. This is what that looks like. Mako Resilient Shield Array. This is the non-advanced version because there's an advanced version that we'll see next. Um, these black parts here in the ship look like carbon fiber, um, have that kind of look to them. The nacelles themselves have this honey, or the Bizarre Collectors have this honeycomb pattern. And the nacelles are just kind of a blue. Um, see, this is a little bit more subtle than the other stripes um, that we saw from the Discovery, the Discovery Shield, the Discovery Vanity Shield, um, the Discovery Refit Vanity Shield. I think it's the one that it was. Um, so I like this. It's a little bit more subtle. I wish that it had more of this style, but this looks pretty good. The um, impulse engines look a little bit. Look a shade of red, so it looks pretty good. At the bottom. All right, kind of subtle changes there. And then we have our deflector dish array. You got a little bit um, of honeycombing, kind of yellow honeycombing around the the blue, the purplish part of the nacelle there. All right, all in all, not bad looking. The, one of the older shields in the game, so it actually looks pretty good for it being one of the older ones. Let's go ahead and do the Advanced Mako Covariant Shield Array. This is... Hmm. Similar. It's meant to be, I think, though. I'm trying to see if there's any huge difference with it. To me, it doesn't look that hugely different. I don't think it's meant to be, but if you all see big differences, please go ahead and leave it down in the comment below and let me know. But to me, it looks pretty much the same. Okay. Let's see what's next. We got the Omega-4 Shield Ray. Oh yeah, this one's a little bit different. So with this one, you have 
notes of brown in it and um, like a brownish red. And you have um, perhaps a little bit different honeycomb pattern. You also look at the nacelles right here. So in the nacelles, you have these kind of ribbed parts here, I guess, or whatever that is. Um, yeah, I don't know. It looks okay, I guess. The uh, I'm I'm not digging this kind of the 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 carbon fiber kind of look on on this just because it's kind of a brown color. If it was a dark color, I think it looks pretty decent. It's kind of what we're used to, but um, well, what I'm used to anyways when I think of carbon fiber, but looking like this just doesn't look quite right. It looks a little bit off. So not my favorite around the nacelle or around the uh, deflector ray. We do have kind of a honeycomb pattern, but it looks a little bit more subtle here. All right. So that is the Omega Force shield array. Next, let's do the Omega Force vanity shield. This is when you reach tier six. Um, in the Omega Reputation, you have the option of grabbing this purely vanity shield. No, no, it's not going to protect your ship or anything like that. It's just for the look. Okay, this is a little bit different. This has more blue tones in it. Um, kind of a mix, I think, between the Omega and the... Which is... I'm sure that's, that's the way it's supposed to be. Between the Omega shield and the Mako shield. And so... It's got more of the pattern of the Omega Shield here, but more of the color of the um, of the Mako with it being a little bit darker and not brown, but kind of a bluish color, bluish black color. The, uh, you know, I don't hate the um, the honeycomb pattern here on the Bizarre Collectors and the blue. Um, I think it looks OK. It matches with the rest of the nacelle, which I think is neat too but other than that it's it's not for me <laughs> in fact you know what it reminds me of it reminds me of that um that vanity shield from the summer event i think it's the deep space niners or is it no the the vulcan logicians i believe is what it is that has kind of that red white and blue color look to it um at least the red and the blue and hints of white in it so that's what it looks like to me a little bit but this is a tier six vanity shield i would say to each his own if you like it get it if not don't spend the the um the tokens on it all right let's go to new car new car is pretty old too new car shield this is the um the tier five version the new car crystalline resilient shield Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> I personally don't like it. I think there's just too much weirdness going on with the whole, the look of it, and just the nacelles here. Um, I just, I don't know what to say about this, y'all. Looks really industrial looking, I would say. You know, don't make it pretty, just make it fly kind of deal. Slap some pieces together and let's go. Um, I wouldn't even say it looks armored. I would just say it looks like a hodgepodge of metals put together to fly. And don't even get me started on the Bizarre Collectors with this pattern here. Or the nacelle with this. I mean, I don't mind the yellow necessarily, but it just that combination looks pretty bad, in my opinion. Also, it looks like the impulse engines are kind of a whitish yellow color. But yeah, not definitely not something that I would I would rock on this ship. This is a beautiful ship that just makes it look kind of weird to me. All right, let's go with the tier six version of the vanity shield for the Nukara. Um, what's it called? The Nakara Strike Force Vanity Shield. Again, very similar to the Tier 5 version. You still have all this busyness 
kind of on the whole pieces kind of slapped together it looks like the uh, uh i think the nacelles are a little bit more intense in brightness this yellow seems to glow a little bit more this blue seems to be just a tad bit different um other than that i don't know yeah it looks if anything it might look even worse in some ways it's a little bit more reflective of whole material the whole material looks a little bit more reflective um a little bit darker i think than the tier 5 version really bright deflector kind of a light blue bright look to it but yeah still not my cup of tea and i do like tea but just not this one um <laughs> Let's go for the Romulan rep uh, shields. We're going to start off with the Romulan advanced prototype covariant shield array. And it turns everything. Here we go. Not everything, but it gives you hints of green. I find this interesting. There's just this one strip kind of right here in the middle. That um, that is green. It looks kind of like a paddle. <laughs> Um, paddle shape on there you know from if you look at it from like a little bit further there's these two I don't know if you guys can see it but there's these two kind of brown parts right here you see that where my mouse is pointing and then you have this little kind of triangle here from a distance you could almost think that it's the um, that it's the Romulan um, symbol right the Romulan uh, Republic symbol or the Romulan Star Empire symbol or something like that because it looks like wings, essentially, to me. And at first I was like, huh, I didn't know that it carried the emblem of the Romulan Republic or the Romulan Star Empire, but um, they're two different ones, by the way. They're not the same, but I'm just saying one of those two. Um, but it's not. It just kind of looks that way. I find that quite interesting. So other than that, nacelles are... I think the nacelles are the same and the Bassard Collectors are around the same color as they are originally. I think the impulse engines are too. I think this just slaps some green accents to the hole and doesn't change too much. On the bottom, you, you do see the, kind of this line right through the middle here. A few lines here that look like accent lines. Um, basically, they're a little bit, they glow a little bit more. So that's kind of neat. If you like green and you want to pretend that you're a Romulan, uh, Republic character on the Odyssey. This could be the shield for you. Now, if you want to be Raymond, this next shield's for you. Raymond Advanced Prototype Covariant Shield Array. Let's put that on there and oh my. Oh my. So yeah, that changes the whole quite a bit. It's kind of chrome looking, right? With um, hints of green throughout. Gives you this kind of honeycomb paneling um in the front and in sections of the hole from the top i actually kind of dig the look of the the Bassard collectors and the rest of the nacelle here the glowy bits of it i, I think it looks kind of neat <laughs> um very very reflective material all around interesting interesting look um, let's see, the uh, deflector dish has uh, blue tones in it, but it's a little bit darker. So I think originally it's got more of a purple color, and here it just kind of makes it blue. But yeah, very reflective. Um, it's interesting looking. I actually, for some reason, I don't hate it. Um, don't know that I would actually use it, but I don't necessarily hate it. All right, so let's go to the tier six version of the Romulan Reputation shield. It's the new Romulus Riemann vanity shield. Let's put that on there. This is, I think this is the one that some of the creators, other content creators call the uh, Grandma's Ashtray. Um, yeah, I could see it because it's kind of a, that glass green color that you get from old Coke bottles or old you know, soda bottles or whatever. And ashtrays kind of had that look too. But definitely this is more green than the previous Freeman one. 
and the other one was more like a blue chrome this is more of a green kind of chrome looking color with more green accents on it um deflector dish also looks more green Yeah. Interesting looking shield again. I don't hate it. Actually, I might like this one just a little bit better, which is weird, but I don't know why. I just do. <laughs> All right. So we're done with the uh, Romulan shields. Let's go ahead and move on to the Dyson's Dyson reputation uh, shields. We're going to start off with the Dyson regenerative shield array. Let's see what that looks like here. Oh yeah. It's got um these lines right here. The purple lines kind of throughout the ship. They don't seem to line up real well on this ship. Um some of them do interconnect, but there are others that kind of go nowhere. Case in point, I don't know if you see where I'm pointing right here, but there's a little line here that goes kind of nowhere, it's just kind of there. That seems to be actually on the on this part of the ship. Um, lighter, lighter tone to the uh, to the hull, lighter color than some of the other ones. Again, very predominant purple lines throughout the ship. The uh, the the nacelles and the Bassard collectors look about standard for the ship, like the standard ones, as well as the impulse engines on it. All right, this has been the the Dyson's Regenerative Shield Array. Now we're going to go for the Tier 6 version, the Dyson Joint Command Vanity Shield. Okay, so basically this makes it darker hole, more purple, some uh, gray, um, gray thrown in there as well, um, but definitely leaning towards a purple gray with purple lines throughout the ship. It kind of makes it look, I don't know if y'all agree, but it kind of makes it look a little bit organic to me. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because the uh, the purple lines to me kind of represent, kind of look like veins and um, and just kind of the material on top here looks kind of like, like what I think that whale skin might look like. Um, maybe less purple, but kind of that. This look. Oh, there's some really intricate um, symbols right here or lines throughout the middle of the ship. You see this? This kind of looks like the Freemason sign. So Freemason and Illuminati confirmed on this ship. <laughs> and this looks like, is it the, what's that Michelangelo? Is it Michelangelo? Um, sketch of the dude that has his hands out and legs out the Vitruvius man or something like that something like that I don't know y'all correct me if I'm wrong but um this looks a little bit like that <laughs> okay actually not a bad looking shield I think I prefer this one the tier 6 version to the um to the tier 5 version just because in my mind this kind of looks a little bit more organic so you could kind of you know, play with the story in your mind, how this Odyssey class ship went into deep space or something and and kind of melded with a space creature and somehow became semi organic, something like that. Um, I don't know if y'all seen the show Sequest, but you have that spaceship uh, or not spaceship. You have that submarine um, that's somewhat organic in the water, which is kind of cool looking. Um, this is the counter command variant shield array. This is from the eight four species eight four seven two um, reputation, and this is the tier five version, and it makes the ship look interesting. So you got really dark black areas, some kind of a little bit more brownish gray accents to it. You have these these little circles, these little green circles, kind of going all over the hole. Um, the nacelles and the Bassard collectors are green. Not a bad looking green, actually. It looks all right. You know, I've seen this shield on other ships. And on this ship, 
it looks all right. It doesn't look bad. This is a really old shield, too. So I'm surprised at how good it looks to me anyways on this ship. You might disagree, and that's fine. Um, but to me, it looks all right. This is kind of where it falls apart a little bit. These little circles right here, and they, you could tell they're kind of stretched up in this area. And um, so that's kind of a little bit weird. But besides that, I don't hate it. Looks pretty cool. Interesting looking uh, deflector ray with just the hints of the green in it, but still retains that kind of purplish quality of the original. But yeah, you know, not bad on this ship for it being such an old vanity shield. Not bad at all. Let's go with the tier six version for the A472 counter command. This is the vanity shield only. And this is a lot more subtle, y'all. And again, to me, not bad looking. Way subtle. You still got these little circles kind of over the hole. And they're just kind of a light green. And kind of a mint color. You have that color on the Bizarre Collectors and the cells, And the Impulse Engines. So, like I said, it's a little bit more subtle um, looking. A little bit lighter. Oh, well, actually a lot lighter. Lighter. And I like it. It is not bad. Pretty cool looking. That is a tier six version of the 8472 Counter Command um, Vanity Shield. Next, let's get to the Delta Alliance Shield. The Delta Alliance Shield. This is a tier five version from the Delta Reputation. And first thing is that it makes a, the hole dark looking. I actually like the color of the hole. It has some kind of green accents throughout. If you can see that. I like the way the hole itself looks with this shield on. It looks pretty good. Now, this is where it falls apart for me. Look at the. <laughs> Ah, it's frustrating because the hole looks amazing. But then the Bassard Collectors, this is just weird looking. Weird looking. It's got that those circles kind of in it, too. But then it goes from from green to like this dark black kind of in the corners. And then don't even get me started on the rest of the nacelle right here. The 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 glowy bit. It just looks like somebody just took a crayon to it. You know, <laughs> somebody at Space Talk was like, you know, what? bring a bunch of crayons. We're just going to kind of draw in a different color on the nacelles. So um, I don't like it. I don't like the look of this at all, um, which is a shame because the rest of it looks really good. I'll even accept the green um, impulse engine look to it. Looks all right. Man, that's such a shame that the nacelles and the bizarre collectors look that way. You know, the oh, well, I guess the deflector ray doesn't look that great too, but I could forgive that. That doesn't bother me too too much. But man, if they ever went back, they probably won't, but if they could redo this, that'd be great because that just doesn't look good. Alright, it's not like they, they don't have anything else to do, right? <laughs> Let's go to the tier six version, the Delta Alliance Vanity Shield, just the shield. Um, just the Vanity Shield it doesn't have any survivability to it or anything, just for the looks. So there are shields that give you different visual looks, and then there's specifically ones that are called Vanity. The ones that are just Vanity Shields can't do anything to help your ship survive or anything. It's just purely for the looks. But then there are other shields that you can use on your ships that will help you survive, but that also change the visuals. So the ones that you get kind of at tier five are those types of shields, are the shields that can help your ship survive and um, but also change the look of your ship. So once you hit tier six, all you get is access to vanity shields that don't do anything for your survivability, just for the purely for the looks. Um, so 
This is a tier six version of that. Again, um, I'm not liking how the Bizarre Collectors are looking, but the rest of the of the um, the nacelle, this glowy bits right here, they look OK. I could live with that. I don't like the look of the hole as much because I just feel it's it's just more green than the tier five version. So it's not horrible, but I'm just I'm not loving it. So that is a tier, tier six version Delta Alliance Vanity Shield. Now we're going to go to the Iconian. And I got to tell you right now, guys, ugh, the Iconian shields. I know some people swear by them. They love them. I'm not one of those people, but let's see if this will change my mind. Here it is. This is a tier five version. And it just has all these little red, not little, but all these red circles around. You just see you know, a little bit. Um, I, I don't know. Not my favorite. It doesn't look horrible on this ship on the whole. You go to the nacelles and it just doesn't look great. It, it looks a bit of a mess. You have, you know, the look on the Bassard collectors is kind of interesting because it, it looks kind of like, um, like warp plasma a little bit on there. And, um, but you have that which would have been cool by itself. Then you have this part up here and then you have the rest of the nacelle that just doesn't look great. It goes from a darker point at the beginning to a lighter point here and it just looks kind of sloppy. Um, I don't like it. I just don't like this shoe. <laughs> That's a personal preference. I know a lot of people like this shield, but I just don't like what it does to the ships. Um, the deflector way uh, away. The deflector array is interesting looking with a little bit of this. Uh, kind of a glowy um, red, like light red, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm colorblind, y'all, but it looks kind of like a I guess like an orange, like light orange slash red in the background. It makes it look like fire in the background a little bit. That's kind of cool looking like a soft glow of fire. But um, yeah, next. <laughs> this is a tier five. Let's go with the tier six. This is just the vanity shield. This is the the Iconium resistance vanity shield. And OK, it just makes things look pretty much the same, just purple. And just purple. No need to spend a ton of time on that one. Let's go with Terran Task Force. Terran Task Force Tier 5 Shield. And this looks interesting. So I do like the kind of the brownish tone. This is like a what I call like a chocolate brown tone around it. It's neat looking to me. And it's got these purple bits of around the ship it's not horrible looking i think i like it somewhat but for this ship it might not be the most appropriate shield um it still looks a little too busy with this ship however i know that there are other ships where this shield looks really really great the um Basar collectors are kind of a between a purple and a light blue looking color here i don't know that i like that too much um, the rest of the nacelle with this orange looking color, I do like, I, I think that's nice looking the, um, the, uh, what is this called? The impulse engines are pretty neat looking too with the yellow or the orange kind of look on them. So there's things to like about it. I just. You know, some of the darker colors are, are good looking, but we don't have another one that's got so much this um, kind of brown chocolatey look to it. And I just kind of like that. I don't know why it's just kind of kind of different from the other ones. It's dark, but it's like hints of brown in it, but it looks good. 
Um, probably wouldn't use this one though on this ship. Just it looks a little too busy for me. But overall, the the, the coloring of it, the brownish coloring, I do like. This is the tier six version. This is the Terran Task Force Vanity Shield, and um, definitely not not as brownish, more grayish to it. Highlights of yellow throughout. You have this kind of interesting looking um, <laughs> um, Bassard Collector look to it with some pink, it looks like, and some yellow or light orange. I don't know, something like that. And then you have this kind of light blue for the rest of the nacelle for the glowy bits. And um, mm. um, yeah. I guess. I don't know. I don't like it too much. What do y'all think? I don't like it too much. Let's go with the Temporal, I think it's next, right? Yeah, the Temporal Defense Initiative Regenerative Shield Array. And this is the one that looks uh, just purely like a rainbow. Um, and parts of it actually look organic, um, specifically these parts right here around where the impulse engines are. You'll see kind of hints of what look like kind of skin on them. Um, or just this part right here. You see how it's got like these bumps on it. It looks kind of like some kind of some kind of uh, epidermis. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then you have these few panels here and there that are um, they're a little bit um, smoother, but a little bit brighter, and they also reflect uh, different colors of the rainbow and the nacelle. The Bassard Collectors are kind of a light blue, again with hints of purple, pink on there. Let's look at the bottom. So, bottom of the ship. Yep, definitely you see rainbow colors all around it. Um, especially in these lines right here. Now I know that there are ships out there where this shield looks pretty amazing on. I don't know that I would necessarily put it on this ship, but it doesn't look horrible to me. Um, looks all right, but I like to see, I don't know why, but the smaller ships, I feel like do better with the shield, but that's just me. That's just my, my personal preferences. Um, the temporal defense initiative, um, vanity shield. This is the tier six version of that shield and yeah, it's, it's more purple, uh, looking to me and just, uh, still Kind of rainbow colors popping here and there. The nacelles are orange, I guess, in, in their look. And the oh, the impulse engines are pink. So that's that's a little bit different. We look at the underside. Oh, you get these hints of uh, looks like green actually. These lines look all greenish, and um, ah, interesting. I guess green is the accent color in the in the bottom for some reason. I think I prefer the the tier five version though in this case than the tier six vanity shield on that. All right, moving on, we got the Lucari Restorative Initiative, otherwise known as the Tron Shield, and here we go. That's what that looks like on this ship. All right, so on some ships you get more of the glowy bits. Oh, okay, here you get them kind of more on the bottom of the ship. You can see these kind of these blue lines around the ship. Everything kind of glows this this kind of light light blue, including the um, the deflector array. The nacelles I do enjoy. I like that a lot. Um, and the bizarre collectors are this kind of glowy blue. The impulse engines there seems to be a difference between the top ones and the back ones here. The back ones here look a little bit more white than the top ones. Now oh, you can see that. Let's see, these are a little bit more white to me than these. These have a little bit of red in them still. 
But you got these accents of, of, of blue throughout the ship um, and the lines. And yeah, I, I like it. I think it's a, a good looking shield on the ship. Let's try the tier six version of it. Oh yeah, here we go. So we got the tier six version. I don't like what it does to the bizarre collectors or the engine or the nacelles. It's um, I don't know. It seems kind of like just like nail polish, a nail polish look to it. And that's fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with nail polish. I'm just saying it's kind of kind of got that look and I don't I don't necessarily like that look on the spaceship. For this, this right here looks kind of like nail polish. The rest of the ship is not too bad. Um, this is kind of uh, reflective still. And it's got subtle hints of like purple in it. Maybe a little bit of green. That part of it's not, you know, is OK, but the deflector array and the nacelles and the bizarre collectors just just don't do it for me. It's, it's a little cheap, actually. <laughs> um, if they couldn't find the right paint scheme for it or whatever, they just used whatever they had. Um, <laughs> we got the prevailing innovative resilient shield array from the um, counter command, I believe. No, not counter command. Um, Let's take a look. It's from the competitive um, reputation. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. This is the tier five version. And oh, I actually kind of digging what it's doing to the hole. So the paneling looks a little bit more armored, I would say. With these panels, but they're kind of organized, so it's not just like a bunch of paneling everywhere like the new Kara shield one. Um, this looks definitely more armored. You have these. Um, I don't know what the shape is called. It's not a hexagon because hexagon means six sides, right? So it's got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, this has six sides. Hex is six, right? Yeah, I think so. So maybe they are hexagons. They're just kind of weirdly shaped. They're not like, I don't know, they're a little bit stretched out kind of diamond patterns, I guess. So you got those on there, but it looks armored, right? So look at this. Doesn't this remind you from, from right here, this back, the back of this ship, doesn't this remind you of the screen of the Klingon spine armor in the game? You know, that piece of armor that Klingons wear in the back of their, of their um, uniforms to you know, when they're in melee combat, it kind of protects your spines. Um, so it looks like the Klingon spine armor on here. So definitely um, appropriate for a shield that's supposed to make the ship look armored. Um, even up here in the nacelle on the top, you have that. Um, the color of the facade collectors and the color of the rest of the nacelle here look really good to me. I think this is neat looking um, shield for this particular ship. If we look at the bottom, oh yeah, you see all this reflective material here is extra armor. All these kind of diamond hexagonal shapes. I love the look of the deflector array. That color is nice. I actually really like this combination for this particular ship. Kind of breaks down right here just a little bit because you got these two glowy bits that kind of cut through your, your registry of the ship the registry number. But other than that, I don't know. I, I really dig this. I like it. I like it a lot. I think it, it matches the ship. I think it looks I think it looks fantastic. All right, let's go for the uh, go for the tier six version of it. This is the competitive war games vanity shield. Now this makes it look a little bit um, it's a little bit more on the brownish end, not very light, but with the tones of yellow here and there. And I um, actually like this too. It's interesting because before in the in the previous shield, this part right here, 
that goes between the, the rest of the nacelle and the Bassard collectors was blue and it matched the rest of the blue. This is a little bit different. This has yellow tones and then the rest of it is blue. I, I don't mind it though. I think it looks all right. Again, you have this paneling right here. Makes it look like a Klingon spine armor. Um, it looks like from the top. Really cool looking in my opinion. And let's look at the bottom. Oh, look at all that yellow. <laughs> so you got deflector dish array that's yellow. You got these parts right here with the yellow accents. And um, and yeah, you have all this armoring kind of on the bottom of the main hull. That's kind of gold looking, actually. It looks a little bit like gold. So, you know what? It does not look bad on the ship. I think it looks great. I think both um, of these these uh, competitive. Um, what was it again? I keep forgetting the competitive war games um, shields look really good on the Odyssey ship. All right, moving on to the Gamma um, reputation. We're going to go ahead with the tier five shield, which is called the uh, Gamma Synergistic Resilient Shield Array. And it makes the ship look basically pinkish and purple. Um, reflective material. Purple accents all around with a little bit of pink here and there. Get these little bits right here that are pink and then the front the bizarre collectors are basically like a pink color and so is the rest of the nacelle looks like the impulse engines are pinkish what the bottom looks like oh really nice kind of reflective area right down here i dig that i think that's kind of cool Really cool. I like the clean look of the deflector array here with the pink. Overall, I like the shield. I I wish it didn't have actually these things right here. Um, I'm not sure what that's all about, but you see these kind of pink accent colors here. Um, and here. I just don't like that. I don't know if if those were gone from this, I would I would rock this shield for sure because it's it's really nice looking overall all right let's look at the tier six version and wow even more pronounced color look at that this looks like nail polish <laughs> it's got that metallic pink look to it you got some hints of blue here and there um Interesting effect here on the uh, on the Bizarre Collectors. I like it though. Um, the pinstripe with the um, the whitish and then the pink. I, I don't like it so much. I just don't like pinstripe, I guess. I, I have something against pinstripe. Um, maybe. I don't know. Just for just for this at least. But um, yeah. The rest of it looks really good, though. I really enjoy this kind of blue color and then this pink um, and then with the hints of purple here and there. Um, you know, I know I said nail polish, but it looks all right on this one. Electro dish looks good. All right, that's the tier six um, vanity shield for the gamma reputation. All right, now we're going to look at one that you could get from one of the missions um, that are they call them the hidden missions. They're they're in the game. They're just a little bit more hidden. And then there's a uh, boldly they road arc story, story arc. It's not called boldly they road, but it's basically a story arc where you have to like go to Bajor and run away from the Jem'Hadar and um, they take over Deep Space Nine and then you got to retake Deep Space Nine and the one that has Curlin here, the one that started it all. Um, anyways, that's where you get on one of those missions. You get this shield right here, and it's the Jem'Hadar Resilient Shield Array. And this is what that looks like on this ship. This is an older shield, y'all, so keep that in mind. So you still got some of that purple 
but here the rest of it's kind of like a faded gray not a faded gray but it looks dirty it looks like a dirty gray like it had soot all over it and the soot is like from ashes from fire um actually what's left over kind of that grime um then the bizarre collectors have this kind of purplish with little hints of white in them and eh. I don't know. I definitely it's an older shield. Um, putting it on this ship is just. I mean, hey, if you like it, this is a free shield <laughs> that you could put and change the look of your ship. I know I've seen some people actually rock this shield on their ships, so even though it's still it's an older one, but they still like the way it looks. It changes the color of their ship to where they like it, so. We got the Bajor Defense Covariant Shield. This is this you get from a mission in the game. And if you put it on your ship, it has a really cool look to it. I actually like the shield quite a bit. It doesn't work on every ship, but on this one, I think it looks all right. You get this kind of brown color for the front um, plating here of the ship. It does have kind of a, a sandy brown color to it. Um, you have these these notches all over the place here. It's supposed to, I think, make it look a little bit more armored. Um, is my guess, but it also makes the nacelles um, kind of a different color blue, and then the Bassard Collectors a yellow looking color. I think it looks okay. Um, on this ship, you got the impulse engines. They look kind of like a burnt orange color on them. I like that. Um, if you look at the bottom, though, that's where it starts breaking down just a little bit for me. There's uh, this these differences here. I wish it was all just uniform one color instead of these lighter gray paneling colors. And then you have these brown colors um, in between. And to me, that just doesn't look the greatest. Um, however, it, this is kind of the Bajoran military um, type ships, right? So being a military ship, it kind of gives off the vibe of, of camo a little bit, you know, where you have the subtle differences in colors, right? You got like a grayish, you got a greenish, you got a uh, kind of a black color in there or whatever. Um, you, you have a brownish and um, so I could see the theory behind it and why that that's that is the way it is. I would prefer it to be all kind of just this this brown color, though, without these um, lighter gray components. In fact, even if you see there's there's like this slight brown right here, um, it's a little bit darker than I guess than the rest of it. it's kind of more of a reddish brown. I don't mind if they alternated between those patterns, but this lighter gray just kind of feels like it just pops a little too much and in my opinion not in the best way um other than that it's not you know this is a free shield again from a from a um from an episode and you could grab this and put it on your ship and change the look and i think it looks all right all right now we're going to go into the territory of purely vanity shields. These have no, these offer no survivability to your ship at all. They're just to change the look of your ship and the rest of these um, moving forward up to a point are from lock boxes. And I will tell you when that changes uh, right now. This is a, this is the Zatvash vanity shield. Zatvash appeared in season one of Star Trek Picard. They are the Romulans who are against um, synthetics, um, droids, androids, and stuff like that. So this is what kind of what their ships were looking like. And I like what it does to this front part here. I like that kind of gold, goldish metal color on it. I like that look. And the rest of the ship, it adds hints of green um to it and whatever this color is it's kind of like a br light bronze color i guess in between um correct me if i'm wrong about it being like a light bronze but that's kind of what it looks like to me 
Um, but overall, I dig it. Um, I, I even like the nacelles, actually. And they're this a little bit pinstripey too, but not not horribly so, I guess. And even the Bissart collectors, I'm okay with. I know they're the kind of polka dot ones, but they're a little bit more modern. They don't look so so weird to me. The impulse engines are reddish, so that hasn't changed much. So it is kind of a reflective uh, look to the vanity shield. Very metallic looking. Um, the imp the deflector ray actually looks a little bit borgish to me um, from this from this angle. Um, a little bit borgified, but it's not. But overall, the shield looks pretty good. If you again, if you want to play like a Romulan who stole a, uh, a Federation ship and you stole an Odyssey and you want to paint your livery on it, then uh, this is <laughs> this could be an option for you. But this is again from a lockbox or they have had it in the in the dilithium store before so you could buy it with dilithium um they don't have it there now they only do that every so often as a dilithium sink so sometimes they'll put these vanity shields on there i don't know how long they're going to keep doing that i don't know if they'll do it again they did it this year um i grabbed a few of these um so um i don't know if you can't get them from the dilithium store then you will have to go to the exchange and and purchase from there if there's any quantity of it there if not, then um, by opening um, some lock boxes and stuff, which honestly I wouldn't recommend. Most of these I've gotten from the EC store. Oh. All right, so we got the Borg vet or from the Dilithium store when that's been offered. We got the Borg Vanity Shield. This is the I think this is the Liberated Borg really is probably what it should be called. Um, the Liberated Borg Vanity Shield, but they just call it the Borg Vanity Shield. And this looks interesting. So instead of it having kind of what we usually know as the green bits and parts of, of the assimilation process, you have this kind of bluish. It's supposed to distinguish um, liberated Borg ships from the regular Borg ships. So the liberated Borg ones have kind of a blue glow to the to the ships and then the green ones are still regular Borg. Um, at least that was a theory, I think, behind it originally, um, just to kind of distinguish the ships. But um, anyways, they made that available in a vanity shield and it's supposed to, you know, kind of Borgify your ship too, but just kind of more of a liberated Borg uh, type ship instead of a regular Borg ship. And so just kind of dark nacelles, dark blue, um, dark bizarre collect, dark blue bizarre collectors. You have these uh, kind of light. Um, white light colors, and then you have the bluish colors here. Interesting looking. Um, the impulse engines have been turned blue. Look at the bottom, see what that looks like. Okay. A lot of paneling and stuff going on, like you would see kind of on a Borg ship. Um, so the hull looks like little bits fit together. I don't know if you can see that. A lot of these little squares all over the place. Um, it's not a bad looking um, vanity shield for this ship. Uh, the deflector ray is kind of, deflector ray is bluish looking, and I don't know. I don't hate it. It looks all right. I think that if I was role playing a liberated Borg, you know, having a ship, uh, Federation ship, this vanity shield would go good on that. Next, we got the Courier Raider vanity shield. This one makes everything really white looking. So it really lightens up the whole color. As you can see, it's still very metallic looking. Still kind of looks a little bit like worn metal a little bit. Um, this is from a courier ship, so it's kind of like, you know, going from place to place to place to place. So it'd get kind of dirty, I would guess. So it's got, you know, hints of kind of, I don't know, it looks like scoring marks on the ship a little bit. But, um, but other than that, kind of really white looking. Then the cells and the bizarre collectors, white glowing. The impulse engines, white glowing. Um, up in the bottom, just kind of a light metal color. Reflector ray, really white. 
So if white is your color and you like all the glowy bits of your ship to be white, or at least most of them, um, then this is the shield for you. <laughs> the courier vanity shield. Not bad looking. I kind of dig it. All right, so we're going to go with the Emerald Chain Intel Juggernaut Vanity, sh vanity Shield. And this one and the the Discovery Refit Vanity Shield are very similar. This one's a little bit darker looking, but um, the effects are very similar of both of these sh shields. This one brings the um, Star Collectors and the rest of the uh, Impulse Engine or not impulse engine sorry the nacelle um kind of a white color but it's a more muted white it's not so bright um the hole is a metallic um dark metallic color and i'm, I'm trying to figure out if it's if it's kind of like again maybe like a uh, a light bronze kind of color to it I like the way this looks actually I, I i do enjoy the look of this shield on a lot of ships it looks all right on the odyssey um even the deflector ray is kind of a whitish but again more muted the courier was just bright white you know just very very glowy and this one's kind of more subtle um but i like it i like kind of the uh the darker carbon fiber kind of look to the to this front part here so yeah, this is the uh, the Emerald Chain Enzo Juggernaut Vanity Shield, one of the nicer Vanity Shields in my opinion. Let's go with the Kelvin Divergence Vanity Shield from the Kelvin Timeline, Kelvin Lockbox, I believe. And the hull looks okay. It does look like older Starfleet um, look. Um, not quite as smooth and beautiful, but not super ugly by any means. The deflector array it's a little bit different um, kind of a little bit more of these lines throughout it um, a bluish color to them now this is <laughs> this is the weirdness here we got the this the this hard collectors and look at it from the bottom it looks like these two eyes right here <laughs> and then from the top you got kind of the same look to them it's it's almost like you put something over the nacelle, the, the Bassard collectors, like some metal over it, and you just left like these little itty bitty bits open. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look right, um, in my opinion. The the rest of the uh, the nacelle looks okay. I, I don't even mind the pinstriping on this. I think it's okay. The impulse engine color is fine. The whole material itself is fine, if not kind of uninspiring, but it's okay. Um, but the bizarre collectors that's a weird part for me however if you're going for something that say you want it to look more like an armored ship right and you want your bizarre collectors to be a little bit more armored looking throw this on there it'll make it look like that <laughs> all right moving on we got the thick hmm i can never say this right it's fakiri or it's fecklery i don't know i don't know if that's an eye I think it's Fakiri. Yeah. Okay. This is the Fakiri Vanity Shield. This you get from the Winter Event. And you can still get this um, by playing the Winter Event and gathering various materials to be able to grab this. And it makes the ship look like it came from hell. At least that's... <laughs> I think that's supposed to be the idea. Um, as you know, the Fakiri in the game, if you played the game, are kind of the, the under underworld goons of the Klingon mythology and, um, and they have ships that spew fire and smoke in space and um, they're actually kind of metal looking very cool but um, <laughs> but not you know in real space probably not wouldn't work out that way but you know these are the these are the myths of legend so um, for the Klingons so they could do whatever they want, I guess. <laughs> so it makes the uh, the Bizarre Collectors kind of a glowing red, orange color. The rest of it looks like a blood red. Um, kind of an orange, like a, like an 
like a uh, red reddish orange for the impulse engines if you look at the bottom so it's still kind of reflective but it does look like like metal that's been scorched basically and that's i think that's the look that that they were going for so and it looks it looks interesting on here it's it's almost like if you want to be like i got my shit from the local junkyard in space um it's been there for ages and it's kind of rusted over use his vanity shield you'll get that effect <laughs> all right so we got the ferengi vanity shield let's put that on there I know very few people who like this one. Um, most people don't like it. It just makes everything orange. Um, it's a reflective orange, grant you, kind of a metallic orange, but still orange. Um, kind of the giant creamsicle, the vanity shield. You got this yellow on the Basar collectors, on the nacelles themselves, on the impulse engines, and everything else just orange, orange 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 and then more orange and a little yellow and then more orange so if orange is your color um then this this is a vanity shield for you definitely get this all right done with that one let's move on to the uh herc vanity shield so the herc as you know are the insectoid species um at least that's what they look like to me um they are in the D Space Nine story arc, or not the D Space Nine story arc, what is it? The Gamma Quadrant story arc. They are the main antagonists there. And they have ships that look, they're supposed to look a little bit organic, kind of insectoid in a way. And this is kind of the look of their ships. So here you have some, you have some greenings, some um, kind of a greenish, lime color on some of it especially here in the bizarre collectors and the uh the rest of the nacelle um you even have green in the impulse engines you have this pattern here you see it it looks kind of like oh, probably like what an insect's habitat looks like it looks like branches and things like that um let's see the bottom of it accents of this lime color throughout see the the um collector array also has kind of the branch colors or the the branch kind of patterns in the background and this top part especially you can see it more pronounced in this front part here with this ship so i don't like it i mean not on this ship's specifically good but it doesn't look particularly bad or anything like that it's just I don't know. I don't like the pattern all that much. Let's see. Oh, vanity shield. Ooh, this is one of the... You know, should I leave these for the... Nah, nah. Actually, yeah, I'll leave these two for the end. I know a lot of people like those. I'll end I'll end with those on the end. Let's, let's go ahead and do the Zenkethi one first. All right, so here we have the Zenkethi vanity shield. You got white for the Basar collectors and the rest of the nacelles. Um, you have white and the impulse engines. I like that. Um, oh, wow. Check this out, y'all. This one actually makes this thing glow on and off. You see that? So this observation deck or whatever this is, whatever sensor pod, maybe, I don't know what it is, but this part usually glows with all the vanity shields, but it doesn't do this. It's blinking in and out. So that's different from this vanity shield and the deflector ray is kind of an orange color. Then you have this kind of very Zenkethi pattern all over the hole itself. Um, it's supposed to also look, I'm sure, a little bit more organic, like a living creature. Um, yeah, interesting shield. I actually don't hate the pattern on this ship. Um, if you want to play as Kathy who took over an Odyssey, there you go. Grab this shield. If you can. Let's go with this uh, 32nd Century Federation Vanity Shield. This one was given out for free, I believe. Um, or was it with something? I think it might have been... Like where you donated and you were able to get a few, few items from, for, from Star Trek Online. 
I can't remember what it was. It was something like that. Um, definitely go to the Still Wiki. I'm sure it's on there where you could find the shield. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure it was from something like that. It's not in the game anymore. Um, there's no way to grab this shield um, at the moment. So if you don't have it right now, I don't know of a way that you can get it currently. So there's this pattern here at the front and I'm not digging it too much. This makes it kind of bright. Maybe like a honeycombish pattern to it. The nacelles. I really don't like this right here because it goes from like red to blue. It makes it honestly look like one of those. Y'all remember like when the ice cream truck man used to come and used to get one of those pops. Um, the ice cream pops. It was like a uh, red, white and blue one and used to like get it during the summer because, you know, it's really hot and it was one of those things that was a little bit refreshing. Um, it looks like one of those. Um, if I find a picture, I'll post it <laughs> in this video, but that's kind of what it looks like to me. I don't like the look of it. I don't like what it does to the nacelle. Um, impulse engines look reddish. They're fine. You know, I really don't mind this, this pattern, this lighter pattern on here. It's part of it being this shield. It's okay. I don't mind it at all, but I really don't like what it does here in the nacelle. So, but you might like it. And if you do, hey, more power to you. And if you have this shield, it, you know, definitely rock it. All right. This is one of the newer ones. It's called a safe galaxy refit vanity shield. This is one from Picard season two, that kind of alternate timeline where there was a confederation um, and Earth was conquering other planets and um, they were pretty much tyrants. That's what this shield is from. It has a camo pattern to it. You can see it all throughout the whole of the ship. Um, very military uh, livery on it, basically. And you have the nacelles and the Bizarre Collectors are a kind of a brownish, brownish yellow color to them is the way I would best describe that. And impulse engines are the same kind of color. So yeah, just kind of more militant uh, looking ship, more military looking ship. And the deflector ray, again, same color as the back stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I don't I think it looks good on the ship. I think it um, I'd probably do the one kind of add the pod back here um, on this ship just to make it, you know, the Terran pod to make it look even more military looking. So but the ship looks good on here. All right, let's do the, the Alliance vanity shield. This is one you could still get. Um, you can get it from the Muds Market. It was given out for free before, but now you get it through Muds Market. And um, if you missed out, so there is a way to grab it. Definitely wait for a sale, though. And this is what it looks like on this ship. I, you know, I thought I was really going to love this because I love this shield on a lot of ships, but I'm not loving it on the Odyssey, actually. This is bugging me, this red line right in the middle it just doesn't look like it belongs it looks like it just cuts right through the registry it cuts right through this um this uh phaser strip i guess is what that is at the front there and right through the name right through the federation symbol it doesn't look like it belongs um i don't know I usually I really like this shield, but I'm not loving it on this ship. Um, I even like the pattern here on the Bassard Collector. Um, on the Nacelle, it's fine. The engines are fine. They're kind of like a reddish burnt orange color or whatever. I like that look. I really like the fact that this has a kind of the stained glass look to, to it, the skin of this vanity shield. I really like those patterns. I really like when that light hits kind of in this area, you can see it. Um, yeah, I like the pattern that it puts on the ship itself, but 
there are these little things like this right here is bugging me quite a bit and I'm not I'm just not liking it as much kind of like a rainbow stainless steel or stainless steel stained glass um, look to it and I I just dig that that's really cool yep overall not too impressed by it on this ship though all right let's go with one of my personal favorites the Emperor's vanity shield Emperor's Vanity Shield. Um, again, this is one that makes it a little bit darker, a little bit more chocolate, kind of dark chocolate, maybe. Kind of colors, just just hints of it here and there. Um, I love the look of the nacelles and the and the um, the Bissard collectors. I like that that orange, um, kind of that orange yellow color. It makes the Impulse engines um, blue, kind of this this light blue color. I like that. I mean, look at it. Just just from look at how the light reflects off of this ship. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. This is definitely one of my all time personal favorite shields and. Um, this looks really good, in my opinion, on this ship. Again, this is a personal preference. I think it looks great. Look at this deflector. Array. It looks menacing. It looks but it looks clean. It looks good. Good pattern tight. Um, kind of whitish color on this right here, whatever that is. Somebody tell me what this is. This is bugging me. I don't even know what to call this thing right here. I don't know if it's like an observation deck. I don't know if it's like a sensor pod thing. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's, um, what do they call it? Astrometrics? Um, <laughs> I'm not sure. Love this shield. Vanity shield on this ship. This is the Emperor's vanity shield, and I love it. All right, let's move on to the Baul vanity shield. Actually, you know what? Let's let's not. Let's go to real quick. I'm just gonna go through the uh, the baseball vanity shields that you get from the summer event. I'm gonna go through them super quick. I'm not gonna um, talk too much about them. I'm just gonna go through them real super quick, and then we'll end with the two. Um, um, fan favorite uh, vanity shield. So let's go real quick. This is the new one. This is the baseball vanity shield and Dorian blue boars. You got yellow. You got kind of a greenish blue. All right. Not bad looking, actually. All right, let's take that one out. Moving on to the Bozeman Titans. Bozeman Titans is a favorite of a lot of people for different ships. Um, Huh, interesting. Gives it kind of a gold appearance. And please feel free to go back and rewind the ones that you want to see a little bit closer detail. Um, we got the Cation Claws. This is a purple slash orange color. bottom there okay Asian claws let's look at the deep space Niners vanity shield okay here we got some kind of like an orange and a blue yeah a little bit of white thrown in there Deep, deep kind of orange color on the nacelles and the bizarre collectors. It's on the bottom there. Okay. That's the D Space Niners Vanity Shield. Let's go with the Slime Devils. I know a lot of people love these or hate them or love to hate them. <laughs> so this is the one that gives you kind of the I call this the Joker colors. I don't know why. Every time somebody puts one of, you know, this on there, it just reminds me of the Joker uh, from Batman. Um, so we got the kind of the pink and the green. We got green bizarre collectors in the cells. But yeah, I think this is definitely the ship that the Joker would fly. And actually, I've seen some people recreate the Joker 
with their characters in this game so i know it's possible so if any of you are out there and are rocking one of the joker characters um get the shield this is from the server met so it's free um you just gotta play you know and you gotta get some low 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 lunat i guess is what they're called um tokens and you'll be able to get this the nebian slime devil shield which would be perfect um to theme this shield with a joker character all right so here we have frankie the fring and our liquidators a lot more green a lot more yellow yellow on the cells and the bizarre collectors this reminds me of rogue I guess from the X-Men. So if somebody has a rogue looking character and want to uh, want to role play that character having a starship that looks like her. Here you go. This is probably the shield for you. This is the Ferenginar Liquidators sh uh, shield. Next, we have the stem bolts. This is a Kind of a pinkish, red looking shield. You get kind of a gray look to the Bassard Collectors and the nacelles. Hmm. Kind of a pinkish, I guess, red, reddish color. A little bit different. All right, this is stem bolts. And then we have the Vulcan Logicians, right? And here we have like a purple slash blue slash lighter metallic gray color. Don't like the nacelles or the Sard Collector look on this one. But hey, okay, I'm sure this appeals to somebody out there. For that person, this is for you. <laughs> Let's look at that vanity shield on the Odyssey. Yeah. We have the work bees. And the work bees has hmm. I guess it's basically orange, but it's not quite like the Ferengi vanity shield because it's kind of like got red on it. It's like red tones and then orange tones. I like the orange on the nacelles and the bizarre collectors, I think it looks all right. At the bottom here. Okay. Kind of a dark, dark looking shield actually. Orange. Okay, well. I think that's the last one from the baseball vanity shields. Yep. All right, now the moment that I'm sure everybody's been waiting for. We have the Baul vanity shield. And it looks gorgeous. <laughs> All right, so you have this really like a dark black dark black look on it with these highlights of light blue throughout Look at how deep deep black this is right here definitely cool looking i love the look of the sard collectors i love this look this color and the rest of the the nacelle as well it's with this all this black material all over it looks great Take a look at that again. Let's go up. That flex. I mean, yeah. This is one of the favorites for a reason, right? Um, the impulse engines are reddish colors, so that's good. That's good. Down here, you can see a little bit of that pattern that kind of those circles that show up on the uh, on the ship. And then you have, I love the look of the impulse or the deflector array with this one. Um, definitely everything's kind of black except the accents of that light blue coming out from the back. 
Very, very cool. Really digging this shield on the ship. That is the Ba'ul Vanity Shield. And then finally, the Section 31 Vanity Shield. It's Section 31 Vanity Shield. Kind of has, has um, deep purple tones on it. Um, at least that's what it looks like to me, kind of in this area. I don't know if you guys could see that. Um, definitely a lot of these red kind of accents throughout um, the uh, impulse engines have a little bit of more of a like a grill shape to them um, I don't know if you can see that but it's it's slight but I can see that kind of like grill grill marker looks I don't know and um, they're red I love that the Bassard collectors also look like they're covered um, like they're armored a little bit in black with the uh, red accents around and then the, ugh, just just the look this this blue right here on the impulse engines just I love that color I love that color on the ship I love that color on any ship really it looks really really nice in my opinion if you go look at the bottom here kind of reflective looking material again um, kind of that deep purple black look to it and then I mean <laughs> the deflector ray looks amazing it's got a little bit more detail in the blue bits of it and then it just shines through well from this this kind of metal part in the front it's really neat definitely like if anybody was asked which shield would you want I bet you at least 60% of the people, if not more out there, would, would say this one, the Section 31 Vanity Shield. Because it's just so good. They did such a good job with it. It looks great on pretty much any ship. All right. That's it, y'all. Woo! How many Vanity Shields was that? That was like 58 shields or something like that. So I know this video is going long. I'm sorry about that. But that's what happens when you do one of these, right? If you have a lot of shields to show, um, it just takes a while. We kind of blew through the through the baseball ones just because, you know, they're they're the ones that are probably least liked. Um, but um, but I still wanted to show them in case anybody wanted to know what those would look like on this ship. So we're back to the original look of the ship right here. The kind of the redone Odyssey, very beautiful, very nice. Thomas Maroney did such an excellent job with this ship. It looks beautiful. It's a beautiful looking ship. It's worthy of being the flagship in Star Trek Online and of being an Enterprise. It's just fantastic. The fact that, I mean, the Star Trek IP decided, okay, let's keep this as the F, right? And they went with the G for the for the uh, Connie 3, by the way, sorry, if you haven't seen uh, <laughs> Picard Season 3 yet, but... Um, Basically, they skipped the F. They let this actually be the F in Star Trek canon um, in the TV show is fantastic. Um, I know a lot of people are disappointed that we didn't get to see more of it in the show. I get that, um, but I think it's still fascinating that something that was in the game that was created by a fan, um, you know, ended up being in canon in the show. And um, so, yeah, this will always be the Enterprise F from this point forward. And it is definitely super worthy of being the flagship of the Federation. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it was a little bit long. Feel free to skip through the parts that you don't like. Um, <laughs> if you want to go back and take a look at a specific shield, uh, feel free to do that. Sorry, I don't have any chapter markers on this one, but... I'll try to try to do that in the future so y'all can just skip to the ones that you like. Um, again, I hope that you enjoyed it. This is uh, by request on Twitter. This is the ship that y'all picked and um, I'll see which one I'll do next time. So until then, hope that y'all have a wonderful day, wonderful evening, wherever you're at. And uh, see you in the next one. Live long and prosper.